the court is ready to rule. In your contract, where it says, in order to terminate, you will need to discuss with owner. Does it say discuss what? No. Does it say any terms and conditions? No. And it says you may still be liable. It doesn't say you shall be liable, which is mandatory. It says you may be liable to pay the remaining months of your year contract. And if you refuse, the owner may seek retribution. The portion that says in order to terminate the contract, you'll need to discuss with the owner is vague. It doesn't make any sense. There's nothing here to be held to a legal standard. Based on that, as far as your claim for the balance of the rent, I find in the defendant Tory's favor. On your claim of the therapy sessions for one year and the lost wages, quite honestly, I have people come in a lot and tell me that they've been impacted but they never have any proof that they've gone for any help. We have the letter from your therapist that says that you have a diagnosis and are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay. As far as the lost wages, I, I have no paperwork, I have no proof, I have your word. Okay. So I'm going to award to you today in your counterclaim the sum for the therapy, which is 3000 $750, your claim for rent is denied, and this case is very much over. Thank you. Thank you. You know there's a problem when you see snake, a snake, even if it's just one snake in the salon where you're getting hair done. And if you see a snake in the salon, run.